and also I must honor my wife. Um, Amen. <laughs> Uh, Rev, Rev said something last week um, about Pastor about Pastor Cash. She's not the first lady; she's the only lady. Yes, sir. So, yes. So I'm going to pull on that one. Come not on. my first lady, Come but on. my own lady. Lady. Amen. So I, I honor you, woman of God. Um, God bless you. God bless you all, um, Kingdom Builders. Uh, it is indeed a privilege. Uh, every time I get an opportunity to speak, it is indeed a privilege. I don't take it lightly because it is very, very important who God uh, chooses to speak to his people. Yes. Um, so I don't take it lightly, not one bit. Um, so the scripture was read not too long ago. Rev, can you just read it one more? One more time. I love that version. That version even better than the version that I, I was reading from. <laughs> I love that version. I loved it too. I nearly preached on it just now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I love that version. What version is that? Just, just, just say what version is that. It's the Amplified Bible. That's the Amplified. Yeah, man, I love yeah. that one. Read it again, please. It says, roll your works upon the Lord. Commit and trust them wholly to him. He will cause your thoughts to become agreeable to his will. And so shall your plans be established and succeed. Okay, great. All right. So before I go any further, I'm going to just pull on two words. Um, commit. So another word that we can put there is to, is to pledge always to God. Yeah, we all know what a pledge is and how serious a pledge is, right? Yes? Amen. Right. Amen. So we should yes, pledge, yes. pledge, Amen. pledge, pledge. And the other word that I'm going to pull on is establish, mean to set on a permanent basis. All right? So we are in the second week of the year all right we've been blessed to see 2022 which is again no short feat and absolutely nothing good that we have done why we are here to see the 9th of january 2022 and with a new year comes a new chapter comes a new opportunity comes a new chance uh, that God has given us to, 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 to be different, to do something different, to draw closer, and ultimately to give him the glory. Amen? Amen. 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 So Amen. 52 weeks we are, is in one year, all right? This is the second one. And I know a lot of us, we have already um, made plans what we're going to do this year and, and how the year is going to turn out and I bet it how we would like the year to turn out, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. But that is the, 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 the thing that I'll be touching on this morning, 2022 and the plans of 2022, all right? We make a lot of plans and we tend to do this every single year. We make a lot of plans. Oftentimes we do them religiously, right? As, as they, some, some persons do it at the end of the year. Some persons make their plans at the beginning of the year, but we all make plans. And in making our plans, we make our new year resolutions. Um, Oftentimes, our New Year resolutions come in different forms. We say we want a one New Year resolution. I know a lot of persons, or maybe almost everybody that I know, one of their New Year resolution is I'm going to start working out. <laughs> <Tottenham> <laughs> Church. 
Talk man, I me tell talk no man. Yeah man, we all say so 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 in December we eat up this whole heap of food, we eat this cake, this this whole heap of Christmas cake and drink this this whole heap of sorry land. We 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 just let loose and we say, yeah man. First of January or whenever the gym opens, that's me first day in the gym, burning this off, right? Talk no man, that's how it go. <laughs> okay, okay. Come many think come me alone still, you know? Okay. Right. Um, and then in spirit, uh, in our spiritual lives, we say that we're going to pray more, we're going to fast more, we're going to do uh whole new different things because. 2021 will not be how I end 2022. So we've, we, we go ahead and we make these plans. And in making our plans, we, we think about uh, how we're going to accomplish it. Yeah. But there is oftentimes we don't see through those plans for whatever reason. Yeah. yeah. We don't see through the fitness plan because we never really serious about it. Yeah, it, it's so nice. It's so nice to say, maybe I'll start the gym. And sometimes we do start, however, but we just don't finish it. We don't have that, that motivation to finish, right? But we do make a plan and we start, yeah? One of the reasons why we fail in, in the plans that we make for the year is we're not honest with ourselves. Mm. Wow. Yeah, man. We're not honest with ourselves. Um, in let, I, I'm talking about the fitness plan. We're not honest with ourselves. And we did not count the cost. What yeah. would it cost us to look like how we want to look? Um, Rev, can you just read for me Luke 14? Verse 28 for me, please. I'll be reading Luke 14, 28. It says, for which of you wishing to build a farm building does not first sit down and calculate the costs mm -hmm. to see whether he has sufficient means to finish it. Thank you. Thank so you, perfect. Pastor. My God. You're welcome, sir. We did not count the cost. So mm -hmm. we, we, we designed the plan we said this is how we're going to do it but we don't stop for a minute am i really going to commit to this <laughs> it is going to be hard i'll have to get up out of my bed early if it is that you have work if it's in the morning that you'll have to work out am i am i able am i willing to get up out of my bed religiously to go to the gym to work out even when you're tired are you able to do it did you take into consideration the effort when you go to the gym that you'll have to put in on the days when your muscles are sore, but you've made a plan, so you have to stick to it. You have to commit to it. Oftentimes, and I'm just being honest, oftentimes we do not count the cost. We want the look, you know, but we don't count the cost of getting the look. We want to get closer to God, but we don't. We don't, we don't take into consideration the time, the sleeplessness that we may have to endure in order to, to draw closer. Yeah, we don't sure. take that into consideration. And as I mentioned, we're just, just not honest with ourselves. We say yes, but if it is that we're to be honest, if it is that we're to sit and to think about it, take yourself out of it. Are you able to do this? Are you able, are you willing to put you aside and to just do it, just get it done because you've made a plan and you say, this is the plan that you're going to use to achieve this goal. But oftentimes we're not honest with ourselves. And that's something that we need to do going forward. Be brutally honest with ourselves because if it is that we are not honest with ourselves and count the costs, think about it thoroughly. What will it cost to you? Then it will be another failed plan. And I'm talking about physically, I'm talking about spiritually, I'm talking about everything that we do in our lives. If we do not 
uh, count the cost. And if it is that we're not honest with ourselves, again, it will be a failed plan. Yeah. To be better, it must cost you something. Mm -hmm. I, I want each of us to say that. To be better, it must cost me something. To be, to be better. better. To be better, it must cost me something. Yeah. And I want you to say it again that your spirit hear you. Oh, yeah. yeah. To be better. To be better. It must, it must, it must, must cost me something. something. Yes. Must cost you something. We, we, let us use our be where they are spiritually. It's not a case where God just uh, uh, one morning say fresh anointing growth and they didn't do anything to achieve that they had to do something to trigger that response from god am i right ministers amen, amen. Yes, sir. amen right so it is something that they had to do that triggered that response from god so it must absolutely must in whatever area of our lives it must cost us something yes, sir. In the Bible, there is many scriptures that speak about planning. Mm -hmm. One example is, uh, just read for me, Proverbs 16, verse 9, please. Proverbs 16, Proverbs 16 verse 9. <clears throat> A person's heart plans his way, but the Lord determines his steps. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go again, sister. A person's heart plans his way, but the Lord determines his steps. Yes. So we, in our humanness, we make a lot of plans. We make a lot of plans. However, we, we must understand that it is God. It is God. At the end of the day, it is God. Yes? yes. It, is, it, is, it is important to plan. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. It is important to plan. There is a saying that I, I, I grew up hearing um, in, in, in my high school days. My high school days. It's not that long ago, guys. Um, <laughs> <laughs> a man without a plan, and I put in brackets, a clearly defined plan is like a boat without a sail. I'm going to go again. A man without a plan. A clearly defined plan is like a boat without a sail. Wherever the, 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 the sea blows, that's the direction that you go. Yeah, so you are encouraged to have a plan. You are indeed encouraged to have a plan because you have to have a, a, a map of where you're going. On Friday, uh, Minister Cash um, hosted the vision board party. Um, the show of hands of, of those who were there. Yes. And it was indeed a good vision board party, right? Yes, sir. And, and, and that, that, as I mentioned, map before is a map for 2022 of the things that you want to accomplish. Yeah. Precisely? Yes, sir. Yeah. Right. However, mm. those plans that you have made for 2022, I go back to what I said earlier. Ensure that you count the cost. Amen. It is nice, it is nice, and it's all fine and dandy to put these things down. This is what I want to do, and, 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 and this is how I'm going to accomplish it. But ensure that you count the cost. Amen. To be better, to achieve that plan that you put on that vision board, it will cost you something. It must cost you something. Uh, Ms. Mr. Cash um, on, on watch night gave her testimony of, of how she, on her vision board for 2021, she had her house down on that vision board. I am 110% sure that it costed her something last year. <laughs> oh my I'm 110% sure that it costed her something last year sir yes so it that vision that 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 thing that you want to accomplish this year it will and it must cost you something mm -hmm. and 
it may be something big, it may be something small, whatever it is that you have written down for your plans for 2022. But you must, you must, you must, you must determine in yourself that if it is that this is what you want to accomplish, it must cost you something. The second reason why we fail, and in my mind, this is the biggest reason, the plans that we make, the position of God in those plans. My God. I'm going to say that. I'm going to say that again. So the biggest reason our plans fail is because of where God is in our plans. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. So in, 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 in doing, in putting my message down last night, preparing for, for, for this morning, I was... Uh, battling I was saying God what will I say to your people tomorrow and this is what came to me very very clearly God's positioning is key oh God's positioning wow. for 2022 is key wow. and then the Holy Spirit addressed that even further mm. he said to me God's positioning is not key. It is the key. Come on, no. Go ahead. Because God's uh, that, that's, that, that statement, God's position is key. You can interpret that as mean there's God's like, there's God being God's position, and then there's other positions, and there's other things that is key. Yes. But the Holy Spirit corrected me to say he is the key. Yes. God's position is the key. For yeah. 2022's plans. Amen. Amen. Yes. yes Amen. Yes. It is the key. If it is that we are going to achieve anything in life, God's position in that plan is the key what? if that plan is going to succeed or not. Amen. We we make plans and we make this big, 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 big mistake. We make the plans. And then we take, to, take it to God and say, God, I need you to bless this. I need you to sign off on this because this is what I want. <laughs> yes? Talk to no man, because me do it to you. Know. Yes, sir, it's true. Yes, sir. Right, right, Sister Tara? <laughs> Have you ever fallen in that before where you make the plan and, and, and you go to God and say, God, this is what I want. Can you sign off on this? Can you bless this? <laughs> no, no. no, man. <laughs> I do it. I, I've, I've fallen prey to it. I've done that. And I can tell you, it did not go well. Because, yes, it did not go well. Right, because it is what I wanted. It didn't line up with what God wanted. It's, it's what Michael wanted. And because I wanted it. And, you know, sometimes we make this plan and we take it to God and God is saying, no, this is not the right plan. This plan is, is absolutely going to destroy you. You say, no, man, God, it's going to work. And you, 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 a human being, try to convince God that the plan that you created is going to work. When yeah. the creator is saying it is not going to work, you're, saying, you're, you're trying to reason that it's going to work, man. Look at it, man. When I take it from this angle, it's going to work. And God is saying, no, it is <laughs> not going to yes thank you we quote our scriptures it is going to work yes it is going to work and god is saying silently and, and just softly to you no your plan is going to fail yes, god. but god allows us in his permissive will god gives you the plan that you desire mm -hmm. when that plan blows up in your face you go mm -hmm. back to god and you're like god why me why me lord why thank you why me what have I done? And God just, just, just softly say to you, I told you that the plan was not going to work. Right? Mm -hmm. and, I, and, and, and I'm talking, anytime I minister, I minister from a place of, of I was ministered to by this word before. Yes, and I'm saying to you, I, this is something that I've done. I've, I've, I've devised plans before. And then excuse me, ask God to bless it. It blew up in my face and then I go back to God saying, God, why this happened? 
I know the answer, you know, I already knew the answer. But, you know, I went back to God and trying to be smart, trying to be slick. God, why did, why did this happen? When God, is, God was saying all along, your plan is flawed. Your plan is flawed because of my position in it. You cannot and absolutely no way, shape or form do anything with me in the middle. Yes. You cannot do anything with me at the end. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on. It, it, uh, <laughs> Thank you, Holy Spirit. In corporate, in, in, in the corporate world, if there's plans that is being made, the CEO does not know about it at the end of the yes. day. Ooh, wow. Okay. Okay. wow. The CEO must be in that meeting. Every single detail that is going down, the CEO must know about it. Step by step. Right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Fair yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we must we must understand that where we put God in the plan is very, very key. If it is that that plan for 2022 is to succeed, whether that is a, a spiritual plan for your growth, whether that is a financial plan for, 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 for financial growth, whether even if it is for your health, whatever it is you do. And we may, we may, I, I mentioned physical plan for health, and you may wonder, you may ask, how will God, uh, bringing the plan to God, um, help me uh, with my, let's say your fitness goal, how will it help you? It will help you in the way where you will ask God, God, I need to do this because there is so many things that can happen to my body, the temple that you have blessed me with. Yes. And if my, if my temple is not right and I cannot do your work, if it is that I am troubled with, 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 with uh, diabetes and stroke and swelling of the feet and, and whatever it is, I cannot effectively do your work. So you then say to God, I need you to give me that push to get up out of the bed that I may do this, uh, uh, complete this, sure. this exercise plan. So in turn, I am able to be in tip-top shape to do your work. Yes? Amen, sir. You're preaching. Amen. 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 Uh, Genesis 1, verse 1, please. In the beginning, God Stop. created... Stop. Go hmm. again. In the beginning... Stop. <laughs> again. In the beginning... My God. Okay. Okay. God created the heavens and the no, earth no 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 just just those three just those three just those three in the beginning yes Not in good. the beginning in the beginning we we and god is very very strategic in everything that he does yes sir he could have started the bible some other way you know mm -hmm. yes sir he could have started the bible some other way but he said the bible said in the beginning yeah. so that shows the position that god must be oh in order for it to move in order for you to move in the right direction it must be that god is in the beginning yes you can't make the plan and then put him in you can't you can't make the plan and then try to uh, uh, gently insert him in to say <laughs> god this is where uh, I, I'm sorry, or oftentimes you say this, God, I'm sorry. Um, I totally forgot to come to come to you concerning the plan. Tottenham, man. Yes, yes sir. I, I'm, am I lying? Tottenham. Man. Amen. Amen. So, so in the beginning, the Bible states, Genesis 1, verse 1, the first three words of the Bible in the beginning clearly shows the position that our Lord should be. In other four, it will work. Yes. Amen. Anytime in scripture, God is first, front, or beginning, we see the same result of victory. Yes, sir. True. Yes. Amen. Anywhere in scripture where you see God is the first, front, or at the beginning, the end result is a result of victory. Mm -hmm. Any Amen. moment where God moves, and God is placed somewhere else outside of the, uh, the, the beginning, at the front or first, 
destruction surely follows. Yeah, that's true. We look at the we look at the Israelites when they were disobedient and then they were they 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 were captured and they were uh, 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 removed from Israel. They went to Babylon and they were removed because why? Because God was no longer at the front, the beginning or first in their lives. We can look at Exodus 13, uh, Exodus 13, 21 to 22, please. The Lord went ahead of them in a pillar of cloud mm -hmm. to lead them on their way during the day and in a pillar of fire to give them light at night so that they could travel day or night. <clears throat> The pillar of cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night never left its place in front of the people. Come on, Jesus. Amen. Sister Fee, I'm just going to ask you to read that one more time, please. Okay. I, I want us to I want us to catch this, you know, because we're trying to set which I, I want us to be in the right mindset going forward into 2022. That even when we get to September, when we get to, to, to October, this is still our mindset. Yes. Because we, we, we have the tendency to forget. We start out with a bang and then we forget. So I want us to, 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 to always, to, to just for the remainder of the year, we're the second week, we're in the second week of 52. I want us to even in October, just remember uh, uh, this message that the position, God's position is the key. So can you just read that for me one more time, please? The Lord went ahead of them in a pillar of cloud to lead them on their way during the day and in a pillar of fire to give them light at night so that they could travel day or night. The pillar of cloud by day and the pillar of light by night never left its place in front of the people. Amen. 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 So again, we see in scripture that the position of God is key. We cannot, cannot at no point in time remove God and expect it to work. It will blow up in our faces. We will surely and indeed experience a failed plan again. Every single thing that we do must have God at the beginning, the front, or put him first for it to succeed. Yes, Amen. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Wow. Why should we put God at the beginning of our plans? You may ask. <laughs> when last night I was I was preparing. And this question came to me, why? Why is it important that God is there? Uh, so Minister, Minister Cash, uh, Isaiah 55, 8, verse 9, and then uh, Sister Fiona, again, Proverbs 15, verse 22, please. Isaiah 55, verse, eight. right. Eight and nine. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, <laughs> neither are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Amen. 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 So that is the the reason we don't need to hear anything more i i, I can yes, close sir. right there yes, sir. I, can close, I can close right there and 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 i would have been in good stead with god to say yes you said what i have told you to say god's ways are higher than always and his thoughts are higher than our thoughts so who better to go to with our plans who better to 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 help us put that plan on paper who better than the god who knows every single thing who knows every loophole who knows every trap that is going to be set who better for us to go to 
that he may craft and, 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 and design our plans. Who better than the God who knows every single thing? Right, Sister Opa? <laughs> who better? Who better? Who better? Who better? There is no man. You may say, okay, I'm going to, I, I need to devise this plan and I'm going to go to this professional uh, to, 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 to help devise this business plan. And then you, and then you take that business plan to God and say, God, this is what I want to do. This business, I've, I've prayed about it. I've fasted about it. And God has, has actually released the word that this is the business that you are to do. But you do one thing, you fail in one area. Instead of going to God with the initial plan, you go to someone else. Mm -hmm. and then you ask God to bless, to, to, to bless the business plan. And then again, you wonder why the business plan or the business, when you start it, it failed because God was not in it. God was not at the beginning. God was not first. God was not at the front. Uh, Proverbs 15, verse 10, 22. Plans fail when there is no counsel, but with <laughs> many advisors, they succeed. <laughs> Read that one again, please. Plans fail when there is no counsel, but with many advisors, they succeed. Amen. <laughs> so plans fail. Plans fail when... <laughs> uh, people of God, people of God, I want us to catch it, you know. I want us to catch it. Don't miss it. Plans fail when there is no advisors. And I'm going to say, I'm going to say plans fail where the advisor, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the advisor is not in it. Yes. The advisor. Mm. However, read the last part again for me, please. But with many advisors, they succeed. And I'm going to say, with the advisor, continue. They succeed. They succeed. Mm. The Bible is, a, is a, I, I often hear it is a blueprint of, of how we should live our lives. It's, it's a map, a road map. Um, I've, I've heard persons say uh, for our Christian walk. And this is in the Bible. Mm -hmm who we should turn to if we want our plans to succeed if it is that we want our plans to fail we can also do the opposite yes we have a choice right mm -hmm. there is indeed a choice if we want to succeed or we want to fail it is very clear what we should do if it is that we want to to fail in our plans just do it on your own i guarantee you and i can tell you from personal experience i've had failed plan after failed plan after failed plan because i have done the plan by myself and then take it to god i, I then pray about it and as uh, 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 someone typed in the chat quoted even scripture why god why i deserve this and and, and why this and why that leave the eyebrow on the four corners <laughs> <laughs> <Hey>, yes <laughs> Speak evening tongues. Thank you. Speak yeah. evening tongues. Get in spirit and all of these things. And then we don't, we don't understand that God is just there saying, your plan is going to fail because I am not in it. My position is, 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 is wrong. From the beginning, my position is wrong. What a word, right? <laughs> Uh, as I minister to you guys, I'm, I'm also being ministered to, I'm being challenged. Mm -hmm. I'm being challenged uh, that going forward, going forward, going forward for 2022 and onward, mm -hmm. that God's position is the key. Yes. Not mm -hmm. key. Yeah. Not key. But there is only one option, only one option, God's option, God first, God first in whatever we do, God first, spiritual growth, financial growth, whatever it is, God first. He knows exactly what to do. 
who better to advise us, as I mentioned earlier, than the God who knows every single thing? Who better to advise us? Uh, my final question, my final question to us, uh, Proverbs 19, this is my last, last scripture, Proverbs 19, verse 21, please. Many plans are in a person's heart, but the Lord's decree will prevail. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One more time. I, li I like that one. I like that one. One more time. Many plans are in a person's heart, but the Lord's decree will prevail. Amen. Many plans Michael e has in his heart. Mm -hmm. But it is God's purpose. Another version says it is God's purpose that will stand. That will stand. Mm -hmm. Many plans are in your hearts, people of God, but it is God's purpose mm -hmm. that will prevail. <clears throat> Many plans you will make, but it is God's purpose. That will prevail. My final question to us all, <clears throat> excuse me, how does the plan that we make or the plans that we make and will make and ask God to bless line up with the purpose <laughs> of God for our lives? How will it line up? You ask God, whatever it is that you have in mind, you placed on that vision board. How will it line up with God's purpose for your life? Because remember, you know, it's not your life and your purpose, and then God's life, and then God's purpose. One in you know. it's not no two-faced business as, as minister preached a preach couple weeks ago. It's not no, it's not no mine and then God. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Amen. 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 So how will what you have a uh, uh, purpose in your heart. How does that line up with God's plan for you? What is the purpose? Do, do they clash? Are they in sync? Mm -hmm. You ask God for something new. How will that be a blessing? How will that, will that contradict what God uh, have in store for you? Will that go against what God has purposed for you? If he has called me, to be a minister of the word and I want to be a, 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 a sports bar owner, will that contradict uh, 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 the purpose that God has for my life? Uh, if I want to be a personal trainer, I want to continue to be a personal trainer, will this clash with the purpose that God has for my life? So mm -hmm. I'm asking you, wow. Whatever it is that you have in your mind that you want to accomplish in 22, 2022, how will it line up with the purpose that God has for your life? Will it be a, a, a challenge to, 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 if you are an intercessor, whatever that thing is, will it, will it contradict or go against uh, spending time uh, praying? If it is that you are called to be a minister in, 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 in whatever area, whatever you want to do, will it contradict or will it go against the purpose that God has for your life? If it is pulling you away and if it is going to pull you away, it won't work. It will not work, people of God. It will not work. It will not work. If that thing is going to go against what God has spoken over your life. It will not work. And I want us to, to, when we make our plans. So if it is that you need to go back to what you have put down on paper or on your vision board to say, yes. God, does this line up with the purpose that you have for my life? If it is that you have to do that, do it. Yes. It will save you the heartache when it, it, it blows up and it don't come to pass and you, you're then frustrated. God, I've prayed about this. I've, I've done this. Will it contradict or go against the purpose that God has for your life? Go back to your vision that you have written down. Go back to what you have decided to do and see if it contradicts 
God's purpose. Go back, mighty God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Uh, Go back. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Jesus. Revisit it and see. Yes. Because it will then save you the heartache. It will then save you from having to go back later. So just revisit it now. Yes. When we come off this live, just revisit it to see if it goes against what God has said over your life. Thank you, Lord. God's perfect will must prevail. Yes. Prevail. Yes, sir. As much as he allows his permissive will, his yes. perfect will must prevail. Yes, must, yes, must, yes. must prevail. And if whatever you are doing or about to do is going to go against that, trust me, it will not. It will not. It will not succeed. And as I minister to you, I am also being challenged by the Holy Spirit. Yes, yes, yes. amen. In Psalms 84, verse 11, I, I, my apologies, I did say uh, that proverb verse was my last, but I'm being led to just... Uh, to go over this, please. Uh, Psalms 84, verse 11. Um, for the Lord God is a sun and shield. Hmm. The Lord grants favor and honor. He does not withhold the good for those who live with integrity. <clears throat> Amen. There's another version that says there's no good gift that God withholds from those who walk upright before him. Yes, yes. Yes, sir. And officially, that is my final verse. <laughs> no good, good gift that God withholds from those who walk upright before him. If that plan that you have put on paper, that vision that you have, if it goes against what God has purposed, for your life it doesn't fall it doesn't make that criteria it doesn't fall in the line of a good gift amen. Amen. amen there is no good gift that god withholds but if that that thing that you want to do or plan to do goes against what god has for you it does not fit in that criteria of a good gift because <clears throat> excuse me Good gifts from God line up with his purpose. I'm going to say that again. Good gifts line up with the purpose of God for your life. Amen. The enemy knows that we are we're, we're too smart to try to trick us with good. Hmm. with sorry with bad Evil. you know some of us are are too smart we're not going to make the bad decisions hmm. yes however yeah. he then tricks us with what would look like a good gift right. mm. Mm. true 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 yeah if if we see some as as children of god and 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 we've been saved for how many years we know he knows that he cannot catch us with bad things or with bad gifts because we, we've, we've been uh, uh, in Christ long enough, but he then tricks us with uh, the good thing. Yes, yep. And then our hands are full, so we are not able to get the great thing. Mm -hmm. Yes? Gives us the good, so Amen. it's great. Yes. <laughs> right, so we forfeit great for, good. for for the good and i say again in closing people of god the position of god is the key for how 2022 is going to be our spiritual walk is going to be determined excuse me if it is that god is at the helm Amen. If God is at the front, Amen. if it is that we are going to grow spiritually, 
And don't be mistaken, you can have good intentions to grow spiritually, but God is not at the, the, the beginning of that. Mm, yes, sir. Don't, 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 be, don't be deceived that because you want to grow spiritually means God is automatically at the beginning. <laughs> that's a word. Yes. Yeah. Don't, don't be deceived that because that's the case. He's automatically at the beginning. No. Uh, hmm. We must be intentional in ourselves that God, this is what I would want you to do in me spiritually this year. And this is what I'm willing to do. I go back to that point to count the cost. This is what I'm willing to give up. This is what I am willing to do to be better. This is what it will cost me. You know, as I mentioned that, let me just share a, a, a quick story with you. I remember when I just uh, recommitted my life and I was saying, God, this is it. Um, I want you. I want more of you. And as clearly as I'm speaking to you now, I kid you not, the Holy Spirit responded and said, are you sure? And I said, yes, God, I am sure more of you. And he asked two more times, are you sure? Are you sure? And I said, yes, the other two times. And I kid you not, as I said, yes. The following day, all hell broke loose wow. in my life. So I didn't understand at that time that it would cost me something. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying to you, more and better is going to cost you something. It must cost you something. There is a, there is a thing that I've that I've heard that when, when something is given to you freely and you didn't have to pay anything for it, uh, you don't really cherish it as much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or when you have to toil and when you have to, to fight and you have to grapple and when you have to, 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 to hold on to it, to, you have to be intentional to hold on to it. Then you, there is a greater appreciation for that thing. So I say to you, no. when you have that plan and when you take it to God and when God's position is at the beginning of that plan mm -hmm. and you have made your mind up that this is what it's going to cost and I'm willing to pay what it's going to cost, then I assure you, people of God, growth will come, change will come. 2022 will be different than 2021 yeah. because on the second week, the second Sunday, the second, the beginning of the second week of uh, 2022, you got a word seen in the beginning and that God's position is the key. Amen. 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 Thank you, Father. Mm. Father, we yes. let us pray and and just as I'm being led by the Holy Spirit to just to just pray over us now, everyone that is under the sound of my voice. Let us pray. Father, we are here as your children, mighty God. Father, you know each and everything about us, for you are the one who indeed made us, mighty God. Father, as your word has gone forth, mighty God, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, that there will be a shifting in our minds, mighty God. There will be a shifting in our spirits, Father. 
Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus that no more, Father, if it is something that we did uh, uh, last year or the year before or, or even uh, throughout the first week, mighty God, I pray that there will be a shift in, Father God, that it will be different for the remainder of the year, Father, that we would understand that your position is the key in our plans, mighty God. Yes. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that we will put you at the beginning, mighty God. Father, that we will seek your counsel, Father God, that we would uh, seek your advice, mighty God not make the plans and then come to you, but come to you before we make the plans, Father God. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. Your word says, Father God, in, 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 in Isaiah, mighty God. Your word says in Isaiah, Father God, that your ways are higher than our ways, mighty God, and your thoughts are higher than our thoughts, mighty God. So I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, that we will come to you, Father God, and that we will humble ourselves, Father, that you may uh, uh, show us, Father God, the road that you should take, Father God, the avenue, Father God. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus, help us to submit to you, Father God. Father, help us to submit, to submit, to submit, Father God to submit to your way, to submit to your will, to submit to your purpose, Father God. Father, that you may ultimately be glorified through the plans, Father, that you may be glorified, mighty God. Father, your word says, Father God, in Jeremiah 29, verse 11, Father God, that your plans for us, Father, Father, your plans give hope, a future, Father God. Father, help us to just lean in that, Father God, and to just lean in you, mighty God, and to just trust you, Father, that what you have for us, Father, is far better than what we would have for ourselves, Father. Father, I give you thanks and praise and glory and honor, Father. Let this word be in our minds, Father. If we ever forget this word, Father, just give us a little nudge, Father God. Just, just give us a little jerk, Father God, that we, would be, we, that we would be purposed in ourselves to put you first, Father God. Father, I bless your name and I give you thanks. In Jesus' holy, precious name. Amen. amen. And amen. amen. <clears throat> and amen. amen. Hallelujah.